Uh, in this video, uh, I get asked a lot how to put uh, sounds onto Halloween props. Well, the thing I normally use is one of these. It's a little MP3 player. It's got its own built-in amp. You've got connections for a speaker, power terminals, and also you've got a uh, USB connection there. All your sounds are on your SD card. When you use the SD card, you can store up to eight different sound effects on it, but they all have to start with four zeros and then one, two, three, down to eight. And that corresponds with one of these eight pins along here. That pin's your busy pin, so you can operate one of your props via that, and that's the ground pin. When you've got the ground pin connected and touch one of these pins, it'll pick that sound and play that sound for you. That's your volume, and you can also connect um, PC speakers to it as well. Now I'll show you how this one works. Very simple to wire up. Got your positive and your negative. They go on to those pins. Like that. Your speaker connects onto that's the positive and negative on that one. And we have an activation wire which just connects onto the ground. So then we connect that five volts to it and touch one of these pins. Now that will work as that is like flicking a switch, or pressing a button. But if you want to make it a little bit more self-contained, if we use a relay like that, and a motion sensor, we can connect it all up and use the motion sensor to switch it on by the relay which will play sound and when someone else goes past it, it'll start again. And I've got one that I've been building and I'll show you that one. I'll just clear this one out of the way. This is one that I've been building in a project box. So all I've got left to do is put the relay in and uh, connect it up. Right, that's the relay connected so we've got power in power out and that's the trigger wire which will go to our motion sensor on the other side the ground goes into the common and then the normally open will connect to one of these pins so when the relay is operated it'll close that circuit and play whichever tune it's connected to what i'm doing on this one I'm doing it slightly different because I'm putting this one pole eight position switch in so I can turn each one of those without having to go into the box and moving the pin around. That's the switch connected in. So, what I've got to do now is Connect with it, one of these corresponding number. So all the contacts connected on there. This sensor one is 
smooth it through there. As you come, so that's going to the normally open pin. So when the relay is operated, it goes through there, through one of the pins, and it'll play that piece of uh, soundtrack that we're after. Uh, that's the power for our motion sensor. We mounted the motion sensor, and we put the speaker in. So the motion sensor powers. And this one goes there, that's neutral, and then the trigger, which will activate the relay, goes onto the middle one. That's how it's done there. All I've got to do is connect the speaker up, like so. Our little sound effects box all sorted. Let's wire that way. I'll just put those screws in there. So that's our little box all made. I use these a lot for uh, for making sound effects. I've got my switch, and I can choose whichever one I want to. I five. So if we just power this up. sound effect how it works I use these boxes as uh, part of the props as well so I've done there uh, a few little props where I've used Arduinos to operate servos and LEDs and they're all controlled through these boxes I just put an extra output which I can plug into any device and then operate the sound and the visual effects with those. I hope you've liked this video. I'll put a link in the description with all the parts that I've used. And catch you on the next one.